Mm. What's up? What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm Laura Mora. And I am Yemi Alade. Hey. Yemi Alade. Look, guys, we international now. You know what I'm saying? I am. <laughs> hey. But we are very excited to have you. Mm-hmm. Pleasure's all mine. Global superstar mm-hmm. on Lyft Service. What are you doing in New York right now, just so we can know? Uh, so I was invited here by the by the Grammy Academy, the Academies. And uh, it's one of the people on the panel to speak on Afrobeats mm-hmm. and... Um, dance hall, you know. Nice. I saw oh. you with our guy Cranium, yeah, and Noah Poa, yes. <laughs> and um, it, it was a nice thing to do, you know, talking about Afrobeats and how far it's come. Mm-hmm. You know, it's been so many years, and there's so much more that Afrobeats still needs to cover up in, in the entire world. But it's a great time to be alive. And there's like a lot of subgenres within Afrobeats because it's like a don't huge... even get me started on that one. There's so many, mm. <laughs> like almost every state. In every country in Africa mm-hmm. has yeah, a genre of theirs. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's like having, like, in Nigeria alone, we have, like, over 300 tribes. Now, imagine imagine if each tribe had, their had a genre. Now, that wow. is how diverse our sound is. Wow. Mm-hmm. wow. Yeah. Listen, and I feel like Afrobeast is taking over, though. You know? So, for yourself in particular, I mean, you, I think... Um, are one of the most successful international stars. I thank God for that. Thank God for that. So what was your journey like, just even getting to that point? Because man or woman, you are killing it. Thank you. Um, I would say in, in, in general, just like every other industry, it's never easy for a female um, because the opportunities aren't exactly the same. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. You know the world doesn't deserve us, right? <laughs> but yeah, I um, definitely don't understand why. But you know, the women before me, they went through these exact same, you know, difficulties, and I'm facing mine, and I'm exceeding them, I'm overcoming them. So I like to focus on the fact that even though you know we're women and that there's disadvantages, but you know, there's definitely a lot of opportunities that open up when we actually push break down the door and take what's ours. Mm. But as as a female, that literally what I'm saying is that all my entire career, that's all I've had to do. Right. Take my spot, earn my spot, take what's mine because mm-hmm. I've never given. You know, it takes a lot of strength, but um, I'm here now. Yeah, I mean, I got to ask you this because this is lip service. Mm-hmm. Because you're like that in your career, are you like that in the bedroom too? Fighting for my life? No, no but taking just taking with yours, girl. And making what? sure that... You- <laughs> <laughs> fighting for my life? Are you aggressive or do you like to be dominated in the bedroom? Uh, wow, okay. In Nigeria, I don't need to ask kind of question, no? <laughs> in Nigeria, I don't need to ask kind of question, but I will, I'm in America, so I'm allowed. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I'm not aggressive, but... Um, I wouldn't say I'm exactly very dominating either, but mm-hmm. I give instructions. You give instructions? Uh-huh. Nice. Okay. Sometimes you got to tell them, girl. No, that's good because you know what? I find like when I was younger, even if I didn't like somebody's stroke or what they were doing, I would be kind of like... <laughs> just go with it. It's yeah. weird. <laughs> you kind of just try to like move, but not say anything or try mm-hmm. to... And sometimes Adjust. you do got to speak up. It took yeah. a while for me to be able to do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same here. <laughs> Yeah, so Gigi's like not me. <laughs> no, for sure. I just was fixing my glasses because oh. they slid down. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely a communicator um, in all aspects of my life. I'm gonna tell you what it is and how I feel, and definitely in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not holding nothing back. But even I'm when you were you younger, know. you always were like that. Yeah, I learned at a young age to le- to communicate. I learned at a young age that people cannot read your mind, that people are not going to understand you if they don't let you if you don't let them know what's wow. going on. So. Cuz I feel like if you move a certain like sometimes you move a certain way and they think that you move like that cuz it feels good. But you really moving like that cuz you like I don't because it like doesn't it. feel good. <laughs> like, Switch that up. Uh, yeah, like you using I can feel your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! That is a good thing to know because, like in in Nigeria, in Africa, most of the females, um, we aren't exactly taught to, you know, speak our minds as as um, unfiltered as mm-hmm. we as we want to, as we feel like. Um, most times, you you have to put being polite first before you know even consider 
how to put the words together. So most times you just end up keeping quiet. Wow. You mm-hmm. know, but like, so like for me, I, I'm actually, I just kept smiling when you said right from when you were a kid, you learned that people cannot read minds. I learned that way later on. Mm-hmm. I thought, okay, since I can't say what I want to say, maybe body language will do it for me. Yeah. It still does not. You look like a mad person. Even if it's your best friend, your mom, someone who has known you mm-hmm. all your life, mm-hmm. still... Mm-hmm. They don't get it. Right. Mm-hmm. How you have to speak. You I have guess. to speak. How did you learn about sex? Like, was that a conversation that like your did your mom tell mm-hmm. you like, okay, so you know, like how does that happen? Because my parents never talked to me about sex. Mm-hmm. Well, for me, I think my first I wouldn't say encounter, but my first understanding of sex obviously was in school. Mm-hmm. Um, the biology classes that we had. But then at some point there was something um that was introduced to my my school secondary school they call it high school here um it's called sex education so it was like a very short it only happened for like two days and they had the health practitioners come to school and you know show us how to wear a condom Mm -hmm. (laughs) that was the most important thing to them at that point in time so they had the dildo looking things and they just you know (laughs) slid the condoms on them i was like okay so that was my first understanding <laughs> of, you know, uh, sex. But I never had a conversation with my parents. It never happened. The closest to sex in a sentence that I probably heard from my mom or told my mom at some point was when I asked her, Mommy, what does it mean to be sexy? I think that was the only time. What that did she word. say? I can't remember because I feel like my mother just dodged the question. <laughs> she, like, no, she just, probably. she no. just, she just mm, went like no. this, like that, like this, and like that, and boom, the question is over. No confused. answer. Yeah, and you still never got an answer. Yeah. I don't even. When I got my period, I didn't even know what it was. Like, oh man, I knew my that. mom was just like, put this pad on. I didn't know what was happening. Huh. Yeah. When I caught my period, my mom didn't tell me nothing either. I didn't even tell her. I didn't think about telling her first. So my friend caught it first, and I laughed at her. A week later, I caught it. So I just went back to her. Like, you what? Caught it? No. Yeah, 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 like it's a disease. <laughs> like, ooh, okay. And that's how I felt at that time. That's I, was, you know, I, I caught like, the period. What, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, who was what did contagious you do? around me? My mom was at work. She worked. 24 7 so it was like when she she found out like three days later wow. did you have pads in the house and everything or no you went actually to the store and got some? i love my i love my friend my childhood friend she came downstairs and gave me like a whole box of um pads because her mom bought her too oh oh yeah so. do y'all remember learning how to use tampons huh <laughs> yeah i was one of the special ones where i didn't want to use a tampon mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i just i don't like it so i would rather like it's crazy. Uh oh. I would rather use tissue. You put toilet paper in your underwear. I was doing I that. I had to do that. Me and, too. and and my mom had to take me to my aunt and tell her, please talk to this young lady. Like Not talk to a this lot young of persuasion. <laughs> Yo, I, I didn't I didn't like the you know the you know it has a feel. Yeah. Uh, the, the nylon. I don't the, like oh. tampons now. And you gotta put woman. it inside yourself. I hate tampons. I only I wear them when it. I have to. I, I had older mention. sisters, so they taught me. You know, I learned. Uh-huh. My mother didn't teach me, but my older sisters. I they learned did. through cheerleading in high school. Like we had to wear tampons. Yeah, because we used to have. Yeah, to wear that would the be boy terrible shirts. if you did a, a, a somersault and your yeah. Pad was and the wings there, start there flapping. There was instance where the string was showing. Like not me, but Ooh. I've had some of my cheermates. Oh. Like the string when they do. You Imagine know it happening in the strip club. Oh my oh, god, Dizzy yeah, worked in the strip club, that. so mm, mm, mm. you imagine, definitely can't have that. Imagine a girl bending over and the string just hanging. Ooh, I've ooh, seen it happen ooh, hundreds of times. I've seen it a lot. But a I've pad is worse. Happened. Well, you can't wear a pad in the strip club, yeah, but I'm just exactly. saying. Imagine you dancing. Imagine a girl dancing in front of you and all of a sudden she bend over and it's a little string dangling. <laughs> like, I didn't know how to use I've tampons. had to tell girls plenty of times, like, girl, you're damn my string. I had to read the pamphlet and I still was doing it wrong. You put the whole applicator and everything And it kept sliding back out. Ouch. I was like, this is uncomfortable. And then it doesn't work if you don't put the cotton, like if you don't use the applicator. Uh-huh. So it just kept sliding back out. And I was like, this is terrible. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> the applicator is everything. I just recently say it's in tampons. It's been, I started last year. Mm-hmm. I've always used um, pad, uh, pads, but you know, those sanitary pads, they can give infections. Because I had uh, I had an infection from a sanitary From the pad? pad. Yeah. yeah. Like huh. they have a those things, you know, it has like Moisture. gel on the inside that turns, you know, mm-hmm. the, that turns the, the flow into, into all yeah. these chemicals over it. the years. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, when you're more. performing, right? Because you you go in when you perform. Uh-huh. 
How can you put, like, isn't it uncomfortable in a pad? I'm just asking. Even just sitting down is uncomfortable it's in like a pad. Diaper. <laughs> mm-hmm. But like performing, I, I'm just really blessed to be one of the, the females that don't exactly experience a lot of pain mm-hmm. when on their period. Mm-hmm. So okay, like I'm able you. to go ahead, do everything I want to do, perform, mm-hmm. dance, mm-hmm. Okay. sing. You know, I recently realized that with a tampon, okay, this is the reason why it stays on a tampon. Because <laughs> I just learned how to swim. Oh, I don't know how to swim yes. still. Am I the only person in here that doesn't know how to I swim? I definitely know how to swim. I beat you to it. How did you learn? Okay, so break this down for me. So you decided you needed to learn how to swim? Yes. I'm fascinated by that. Yes. It's, you know, this COVID, the COVID year really just did a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just really had time to reflect on life and just think to myself, what are the few things I could, you know, Get get myself into that that would you know just really make me happy. Let me help me get my mind you know less tense. Stop. And I thought of I learned how to ride the bicycle. Then I wow, yeah. mm-hmm. this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I learned how to swim. So I was taking uh, swimming classes. And then I really was excited about it because I I started floating and I nice. oh my god, oh my god that's this is really me. exciting. Mm-hmm. Y'all you don't know, know how crippling it is to not know how to swim. It is crippling. I, I, I'm still scared some sometimes. Yo, I'd love mm-hmm. that. I'd love that. But then I think what, what happened was that because I was really I, I always woke up in the morning very excited for my swim classes. As though then one day. The period decided to come. Oh, shit. And I started making calls. Mm-hmm. How do I do this? Because I don't want to miss my swimming class. Yes. I love and I don't swimming. want to bleed in the pool. I want to float like... today. And I was like, I'll just put a tampon just... on. Look, I, I messed up about four or five. I didn't understand the technique. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but it hurts on the way in. How do you? And then when I, now I'm a pro. You know, hey, girl. You gotta relax. <laughs> but they also have the cups now. And well, you know they have the, um, so they're amazing. You know, they also have <laughs> the cups for, you know, when your bladder is weak. And you know, like me, like I go from zero to 100 when I have to use so the bathroom. So pee cups? Huh. They have the cup, pee cups. Hey, yes, where I have them at home. I used just, to drink I just alcohol. haven't tried them. Wow. <laughs> I was like, they gave them to me. And I was like, yo, I mean, you know when you're at the club and you drink it and then the line be long as hell. So you could just pee online. on yourself? So it's not, pee, it's like a cup and it helps you hold your, like oh. if you squirt, you know, it's, you wait until you squirt yeah. a little, you go to the, yeah, it's crazy. If you oh. squirt a little? Yeah, like, you know, when you got to go it's real bad. Goal, yeah. So, and sometimes like you get, yeah, like. I call it a happy oh, pee with my dog. Yeah. I just know that guys my dog are get so excited turned and she off pee a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> go through that ever. I don't well, pee no, on myself. Well, no, they send it because, you know, there's women that stuff, like they yeah. have, after they have, have friends you have like kids that, yeah. and especially so if you have a lot of kids. this is why I got vaginal rejuvenation with the laser is mm-hmm. because I yes. smoke. And I would cough and I and, would yeah. pee on myself a little bit. Yeah. And it happened one too many times. So I looked up like, what can I do to stop this from happening? And I learned about vaginal rejuvenation and I got my vagina lasered um, from the inside out mm-hmm. and it took it back to virgin status. And it That's why it tampons yeah. hurt me now because mm. it's so tight down there. Well, hello. Listen, I, never, I don't. I, I would be so upset if These I got pee on my white like, panties. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The Listen. only time I almost mm-hmm. pee on myself is when I have to go and I'm at the door with and you the get you to do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was that's like. That's when you gotta go to work. Like, yeah, I gotta go. Yeah. And then when you get to the bathroom, the closer you get to the toilet, the more you gotta go. Exactly. And then I get into the bathroom, the toilet eventually, and it's right there before it's right there. It just. <laughs> I wonder how guys like I thought that too. I was like, I wonder guys like when they really a little really pee have comes to pee, out. Does a little pee like what happens? Like, does that happen to y'all? It's like yeah. when y'all get drunk guys are saying, and y'all yeah, like, does. so y'all be like, like a little pee in your box. That's like, why when you go to suck it, you can taste the pee a little bit. Uh, that's that's disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> y'all know that happened to y'all. You know when you suck it, you can taste a little bit of pee. It tastes salty. I don't know what you taste like. No, yes, you have. It was salty. That was pee. No, I said no. Get no pee on my lips. That's it. Has. No, 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 no,
going to slide out of this. So let's just say you've been out all day and then you get back to the house with, with your dude and he wants to eat you out, but you haven't showered or nothing. Let's go. Do yeah. you let him? If I love him. I trust myself. I'm letting it happen. Nah, my, I'm, I'm good. No. Let's go. First Repeat of all, I question. use white. Let, let's really, let's yeah, really I, put I, I ourselves in the... I, I use I, white I let, again. I will let my man eat me right after I work out. Okay, what if you shit it? Whoa. Okay, no. Right after I, I don't even do that. And right after that, right, I don't even do that. And right and after I don't that, even do that. Right after, because I know how to clean myself. No, but listen, listen you've been out all day, day, right? All day, you've been working. All day. You was in rehearsals. And Probably then, use the restroom at some point while we were at I the restroom. So yes, you know. And then you get home, and he's like just trying to rip your clothes off and eat I'm you out. Him. Are you gonna just let him do it? Yes. Rip the clothes off and pass me the wipes. Yeah. I've been wiping let throughout the, the day bathroom. though. Let me tell you something. Yes. I had an experience one time, <laughs> and ever since this one time, I've been scared to death about this happening to me again. And I'm sure there's a woman in the room that can relate. Have you ever went to go have sex? or do something with your vagina and there was a little piece of toilet paper stuck there <laughs> and you had to pull it off, right? Y'all had to pull off the little piece of toilet paper once upon a time. I got a little... That happened to me once and I never place, went, I was so embarrassed and I never wanted to happen. Some some cheap toilet paper. Never papers. wanted to happen to me again. So I use, I, where's my purse? I have wipes in my purse yeah. right now. I keep wipes. I wipe you with wipes. You gotta check it. it Make it, sure there's no stuck toilet paper I, I got, inside your crack. I got, about 48 packs of wipes in my house. Shout out to Good Wipes. Y'all need to sponsor us too. Um, I got about 40. I got the, the to-go ones and the little individual wrap packets and I have the actual baby wipe packet and mm -hmm. I wipe. Wait, so, so Gigi, slow down so the guy saw the, the piece he of He picked it off. He was about to eat my pussy Ooh. and he picked off a piece of toilet paper. He still ate it though. But he picked off the little piece of toilet paper and flipped. It was and like, your pussy was like an hour later when you peel off the wrapper and it doesn't come out <laughs> a little bit stuck. <laughs> Pineapple flavor. It was a pineapple flavor. It was a pineapple flavor. Now later, with a little piece of the wax paper on it, and you don't wear underwear. And you don't wear underwear. And I don't wear underwear. Yes, I wipe. And I use wipes. I wipe and everything. But if I know I've been out for a while, I, I, no matter, I'm going in the bathroom. If I know, if not, if I just showered and I just happen to come over, that's different. But if I've been out all day. I, I'm gonna go and wipe and just not me but him poor baby like poor baby <laughs> not me I Picked feel like this paper. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you I feel like going home and taking a shower and having sex you ruined everything you your your body was mm -mm. you was marinating up. you was marinating for that Think all day about that thing. the best time to have sex is after your whole day is finished and then take a shower and go to sleep after after it is nice to go to sleep after yeah, sex, but I also is. like morning because sex. I'm telling you everything is all juicy and 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 nice and tasty. It's been in the crock pot all day and tasty. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's got pussy flavor. been sitting Try in the crock pot. Right. Lord, right. I'm telling you, the don't wash it off. Try it. Try it. It's Laura. Get that man that crock pot pussy, it. girl. I'm telling you, it's good. That thing gonna taste. Like, that thing gonna taste like it tastes nice. beef stew. <laughs> it's nice. I wonder if I turn. Do you taste think like I turn him chili off when I do that? Because he's ready like and I go in the bathroom. No, like, like, give me a second. You be surprised. Some guys love a girl who goes and takes a shower before. Mm -hmm. No, I don't take. Hold on, I ain't say all of that. She like, said she gonna go in and wipe. You get what I'm saying? Like that. That's the same. She really did that. She showed us. Yeah, like a little, little. Yeah, and then if I'm already hot, I'm ready to wipe it. I'm just, you know. <laughs> and then I go back and all right, Yemi, let's get back to you for a yeah, second. You, she's I like over right. here. <laughs> Look, she like, I don't want you my wipe. people to hear this back home. Do you wipe or do you just go straight into it? Wipes. She's Yeah. Yeah, because I'm just I'm just very self conscious. Like, really? my, nah. Fortunately or unfortunately, my I have very sensitive, you know, nose. A very sensitive nose. And I pick up on every order. Mm -hmm. Like I, I can literally smell myself right yeah. like just Me even too. sitting through like i smell good like, so i you know one time i, I tried the, I, I tried to not wear panties because I, I i had a friend that never wore panties and she you know and and she really loved she was like she was anti-pants like she's like what is pants <laughs> like really what is pants and then so i tried it and i just noticed i could always smell myself i don't yeah i don't like that when i have to wear i have to and then i start thinking about it like so no i needed to i even wear underwear like to wear. bed me too i was just but no, i have to wear like granny panty underwear, underwear. Me but too. i have specific underwear that i wear to mm -hmm. go to bed me like, too if, if i have a comfortable pair yeah i uh, have to but i've started so my waxer <clears> told me that you know to prevent 
ingrown hairs after mm-hmm. you get waxing to not to not wear panties to go to sleep. Oh. So now I've started not wearing panties. It's that to go elastic to sleep. that and it has. Yeah, I don't ever take the size. That's why I don't like yeah. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I don't like the elastic. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Now I want to talk about woman of steel. I want to go to that. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I mean, let me ask you to be a woman of steel, right? How hard is it for you to be vulnerable when it comes to men? Because mm. sometimes we feel like we got to be so tough. And we got to make sure that I can handle this. I got this. I got that. But, you know, I've had to learn how to allow a man to help me. So how is that for you? I would say being a woman of steel, first of all, when, when I chose that, that name for my album, I was I was really, I was thinking more of um, how to go about my daily um, activities without allowing the world to crush me, mm-hmm. you know, with their expectations, with their thoughts, with their words, just, you know, bulldozing through all the, sorry to say, BS. Mm-hmm. And that's where Woman of Steel came Did you came apologize from. for BS? You can, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just did. After all the rest of this shit. <laughs> after, <right? laughs> I realized it. it's just my nature. I told you where I'm coming from. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, um, but... You know, for you to be strong, for me, let me personalize this. For me to be strong, I definitely, for me to know what strong is, I have to be weak. Mm-hmm. Or else I wouldn't know what strength is. Mm-hmm. And and for me to, um, me also learning to allow people help me when they need to help me, or will I say my man to help me when he wants to help me, I'm learning every day. Oh, do you need this? I'm like, no, I'm good. I need to learn to say yes, yes please. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And I cross my feet and just yes, you know, do 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 everything you say you want to do. Mm-hmm. I'm learning that. Um, but being a woman of still comes with a lot of uh, vulnerability because you need to be able to love is is it takes a lot. Yeah, because I think guys like to be able to help you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like they they need to be needed. Yeah, they do need that. Mm-hmm. Just like we do too. Like I yes. feel like as nurturers, I would feel a way if I wanted to help my man with something and he kept telling me, no, it's good, I got it. Oh, that's oh, always a bad sign for me. Yeah. Uh, oh, can I help you? Would you like me to? No, don't worry, I can do it. I hate that. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, it's a red flag. <laughs> It's on. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you going to let me do this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, so your song, Johnny, was one of your first really, really big songs. Yes. Was that a true story? Of course. Yes. So tell us who who's Johnny. A silly man. <laughs> Some <laughs> boy who went with, with shit for brains. <laughs> <laughs> And trust me, in that song, I only mentioned like three ladies. I was being very nice and modest. <laughs> so this really happened. You had a guy that was just cheating on you. Uh-huh. This. Yeah, but every every everybody has that one person. Mm-hmm. Every man has that one lady who has done that, and every woman has that one man that really just. <laughs> Played a nasty. wild card on them, you know. Yes. And Johnny was that guy. I, I, I don't know any other female who has been so blessed to have someone that she's in love with that really rocks her world and literally breaks her heart and ushers her into a new um, stratosphere of life. Because literally, that breakup broke me into the person I am today. If not for that song, if not for that experience, Mm -hmm. where would I be? Like, I I probably, if I ever see this guy, I should be telling him thank you. Thank you. I was like like that. Do you have another way to break this heart again? Right, (laughs) Right? because I need another one of those hits. Mm -hmm. uh, Everything happens for a reason type of thing. He knew that it was about him? Or did you ever talk to him We never spoke. Like, so it happened and I went my way. I chose to leave. Mm -hmm. Um... And I just went head deep into work, trying to figure out who I was in the music. And we never reconnected. I think he tried reaching out to me, but I was just so, I, I blocked it out. Cause I knew it, I knew I was weak in Nice. I knew I was just the fool, you know? And then when I left that, we never reconnected. We never um, spoke. At, at some point I was thinking, oh, you should try and get some closure. Mm-hmm. Sometimes closure is just telling yourself this is not for you. You're like, right. Why you must yeah. talk about closure? it. Why do I don't we know. need that? It, I think at some point it became a thing where everybody says you need yeah, closure, you need closure. closure. Yeah. But you don't always have to have that conversation. It's not important. 
because the person who did what they did knows exactly right what they were doing and it's very possible that you were just the lamb mm-hmm. at slaughter you know you mm-hmm. you're the one who didn't know anything now that you know can you just continue with your life mm-hmm. wow. <laughs> you know so that but yeah so, so I, I and to be sincere i'm sure if i had that closure or whatever it is i'd have just felt either felt more stupid or maybe just open another door for another stupid thing to happen that happens. and sometimes so i'm happy clo- sometimes yeah. closure is space <sighs> Mm-hmm. You know, Definitely. because it's not saying like if he shows up or you happen to run into him mm-hmm. because you had space, mm-hmm. your closure is just being able to be cordial and keep moving without feeling nothing. That's it. So Let's say he came to one of your shows and you saw him. Would you let him in the VIP? Let him in the VIP? <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't even be the one doing that. Like, wherever <laughs> he gets to, he gets to. And he's like, oh, Yemi, you remember me? I'm like, who? What? <laughs> what if he's like, no, yo, Yemi, yum. We're not having that conversation. <laughs> like, I've had an ex try to do that one time. <laughs> yo, no. I don't know you don't know me. You don't understand. No, <laughs> bro. Nah. <laughs> Like, yeah, that part. What, what are you trying? What, what is this? <laughs> oh, man. I love oh, it. man. <laughs> so, look, during the pandemic, it was probably nice for you to have a little bit of time to sit down, right? Because you've mm-hmm. been super busy. So, what was that like for you? Sis, wow. It, it was b- bittersweet, um, but definitely started off on the sweet side mm-hmm. because I'd never really. Okay, so here's what happened COVID started, Corona started. And I had gigs here in New York and then uh, some other gigs outside America. But I had flown in already. I was already in New York oh. in February, March of 2020. Um, It was a few days to my birthday because my birthday is in March. March 13th? Yeah. Okay. 313. That's like when the pandemic started. I was going to say, that is the, the, the exact day. day. Oh, March 14th is when everything shut down. down. That, was, that was my last day outside. <laughs> and then got stuck wherever you flew to? No, I finally got home. Oh. I, I decided <laughs> that I was going to cancel all my shows and just go home. I mean, back to Lagos, Nigeria. Whatever madness is happening in the world, I told my management until they were like, I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah. Like, let me just be at home. And feel good upstairs, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And and so I remember being <laughs> in Manhattan and looking down at Times Square. <laughs> and it was empty. I felt like I was in a movie. Right. It mm-hmm. was too scary. Mm-hmm. The sight of the fuck. Mm-hmm. And then the lights weren't really, you know, as bright and mm-hmm. and attractive as they it just looked like deserted yeah. wow. like the apocalypse looked right. like something mm-hmm. had happened i am legend yes. mm-hmm. oh my god like i stand here before i see someone else it's probably like 10 blocks down and what am i doing in this city like even to have breakfast at the hotel everybody's looking at each other like mm-hmm. you can't see which corona you, now which one y'all got it you can't even <laughs> play get it to me. <laughs> and you, you wipe the spoons right the, what are you doing for something that you can't even see when mm-hmm. when when the virus gets to that plate it's on the plate mm-hmm. you know so, but eventually i just left i went back to nigeria and i then realized that all this well my house wasn't really my house like i'd never really been leaving there all i do is come back switch my boxes because i i wear a lot of tra- I, love, I wear a lot of traditional stuff mm-hmm. so i have a lot of designers make stuff for me in different parts of africa so i just go back pick up a box and i just i'm out and so when i got the opportunity to sit at home i finally made my house my home so i mm, enjoyed it that's great like yes. I, 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 it was warm. I said to personalize my space. Yeah, I really, nice. I, it was, I would wake up in the morning and understand what it meant to have a good morning. Yes. I just yep. slide open that window mm-hmm. and like look at the atmosphere, like, ooh, it's a Take good it morning. Mm-hmm. Take it in and just really, it was beautiful. But then it became too much. Because right, it was a long, it was like, get me out of here. Now I gotta go. You know, because the streets just kept calling. But Corona just said, say hi, I'm here. But then Corona was calling too. It was calling big time. It called everybody and eventually it bacon on me. Oh man. How was it for you? Oh, my first encounter with COVID was bad, man. Oh, it was not nice. It was not nice. I, and the annoying thing is that it really affected me mentally because I was already mentally vulnerable. Right. I had absorbed too much information. Mm. Both the things that were true, the things that were not true. The conspiracy the, theories. Whoa, what mm-hmm. it will do to your... I, in fact, when I hear COVID, I hear death. Wow. And so I had gotten to that point and 
I eventually had COVID. So I was me- I was a big mess. I did, it, it, In three months, I still hadn't recovered. Damn. Like, wow. I was a mess. And it was mo- mostly mental. You know, because wow. I, I just felt like I'm never going to be well. Maybe I might not wake up tomorrow. Right. Because I feel this way and that way. I'm not myself. Mm. I, I take the stairs. I, I can hardly catch my breath. Mm-hmm. Did it affect your vocals at all? Because I know for some people with their lungs and then being able to Jesus. perform. It did. It no, did. it did not. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. It did not. Mm-hmm. And we also yeah. saw most recently you uh, did a poem for your mom, too. Yes, always, so always. <laughs> My mom is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. But yeah, um, I'm always doing stuff for mom, you know, and I there's so much more I still need to do for her. Musically, blah, 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 you know. How did she feel about you being an artist at first? You know, my mom and I never really had that conversation. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, mom, I want to be an artist or anything. I never even wanted to be an artist. I just realized that anywhere I went, if I, especially in primary school, secondary school, I was always representing the schools I attended. I was always singing. And and I noticed that there was a response, a, a vibe each, mm. each time I sang. So I just knew it was a thing that happened. And I also yeah. love music. So I was just, it was just a very just big hobby natural. for me. You know, it was a big yeah. hobby for me. I, I never realized that I would actually make a living mm-hmm. from you know, being a musician. That's the best living to make. Right. It's something that you feel good doing. It's yeah. like you don't even like think about the money. You think about the feeling that it gives you when yes. you're doing said thing. And uh-huh. then the money just comes. It's great. I mean, the money's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it, yeah. Turning yeah. hobbies yeah. into yeah. hustles is, is nice, my favorite it? way. The money's <laughs> sweet and it's all kind of currency. <laughs> yes, yeah. for international, honey. Get international yeah. talk. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you find guys to date being in your position? Like... Well, there are all sorts of guys anyways in the first place. Um, <laughs> like, what do you like? What do I like? A sense of humor is like, it's probably one of the most attractive things, mm-hmm. first of all, a sense of humor. Um, obviously, appearance. Because, like, you first see the person, right? So, mm-hmm. like, ooh, I like that. Like, and what are you attracted to physically, then? Physically. Do you have a type? Um, do I have a type? Do I have a type? I used to have a type. But <laughs> what, what was I, it? And that was a vibe. Like, I, I just feel, mm-hmm. I just feel it. Um, those days you say, oh, I, I used to like light skinned guys. Then mm-hmm. I started liking chocolate guys. And then it's just a vibe. Like, I feel it. I feel it. I feel the company and, and the aura, obviously. The, the, you want me to describe like heights and all of that? Does yeah, that like, I, cause you know, you could be as specific as if it was that specific for you. Like, okay, I would say tall, <laughs> definitely, because this is where I like to put it. You cannot be short, cause I don't want to be standing next to you and seeing the middle of your head. <laughs> I, no, no, no. I think all no, girls no, no. like guys who are tall. No, <laughs> there's some guys kind of. that like short guys. I don't know what it is, but no, it doesn't okay. work out well for me. Um, I would date a short guy if he had a six pack. And Gigi says short guys have bigger dicks. <laughs> right, G? Most of them. Most yes. of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, I, like, oh, so that's a fact. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. Most yeah. Them, yeah. But no, it's just bang, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm short, so they don't have to be that tall. Like, so I like tall guys. Yeah. Best of both worlds. <laughs> Stephanie want to climb a mind star. Yeah, I like I like um I like I'm like six foot seven, Ooh. six pack, big legs, big hands. That's very specific. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. As you want specific, I got you on that. <laughs> Yo, I, I like you know big hands, strong shoulders, muscles. Um, six foot seven. I said that already. Mm-hmm. Um, you said it three times. Seven. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like. Even though I, I could go for like six foot five. Mm-hmm. Or four, but I like seven and five. What of six? Four. Just six. Wow. <laughs> six feet is cool. That's mm-hmm. kind of short for me. Um, <laughs> but really specific for me, it's like I like a six pack, and I like strong thighs mm. and strong shoulders mm. and like for this part of the chest to be like Whoa. really defined oh, 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 so when oh. they on top of me it just feels like i have like a some kind of beast over me it's like oh my god you're so strong i love you okay there you go very oh my god that was very visual wow. <laughs> I, I felt that I i'm taking that. notes on how to make this description <laughs> next time yeah yeah mean, what if a guy told you he loved you on a first date Ah, uh, spooky much. <laughs> spooky much. No, uh, that that that. So there's one time a guy did that to me, anyways, and and that just made me take off. Really, it's 
it's just so much. It's too much at once. Too soon. So you don't believe in love at first sight? I like to think it, but no. But you wouldn't say it. Just the the ease at which someone would just say it means mm-hmm. that sometimes it just feels like you could say anything. What if he was yeah. drunk? That's an excuse, right? So yeah, that, I'll take that excuse okay. if I really like the person. You'd be like, yeah. I said what? <laughs> I'll take it if you're drunk. I'll, right. if, you know, and when you're better, we'll talk about it. I guess. Have, have you ever felt like you was in love at first sight? Me? Mm-hmm. Always. 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 Oh my days. <laughs> it's I like knew a it habit. from the first time I saw you. <laughs> you be digging it. I love you. <laughs> How many kids we gonna have? Yeah. I'm gonna give him some baby. How many babies you want, baby? <laughs> you ever hang up the phone and be like, I love you? Me? Who do you hang I done up? I've done that. I've done it. I've done it. I love him. I love him. Oh. Yes. <laughs> or like when he call you and you see his number like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you get What's serious. Up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> And you'd be so mad, like if he didn't answer, and then he yeah. going back, and you'd be like letting it ring four mm-hmm. times. Mm-hmm. Ring, like, all right, let me stop playing. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Let me Why answer before he hang up. I know. Oh, Why do we do that? Mm-mm. And then you'd be acting like you was doing something. Yeah. Like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm just busy. Hey, I'm what's busy. up? Like, you're not <laughs> mad, but you're mad. <laughs> Crazy. Man. Have you ever blocked somebody and then called them back? <laughs> I mean, blocked somebody and forgot you blocked them, and then hit them like, yo, you ain't even hit me in a minute or whatever? I like, forgot that you blocked no, them. if I blocked you, I ain't forgetting No, that. I ain't forgetting that. <laughs> like, just block being petty. Mm-mm. Nah. Because I don't petty block. I, I don't block petty for real. Block too. When you block, you it's block. Like, you better I get block. another number. <laughs> you better email me or DM me or something. Cause you ain't getting you better try line. to call me block. Fuck that. I'll be changing cause... numbers. I block just to like slow the situation down. Like, let me give it some distance. Let me. It's hmm, a feat to some... get unblocked. Why don't you just delete well, do, it? Or do not disturb. Put the, turn the moon on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, Lord, if you extend that on just that person's. <laughs> yeah. But isn't yeah. that the same thing? It's going to keep going to voicemail. Yeah. The worst is like it. when you date somebody who's really stubborn and y'all are both stubborn. Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> like. That's that. Like, I'm not all the way. I'm just being because we both. But you know that, and like, if you call them, he'd probably be happy. See, it's the forgot part for me. I'm not going to forget if I yeah, feel that I way. Yeah, I can't forget that. that. You I don't really you. ever... I've only ever blocked one person in my whole life. Damn. Mm. Yeah. You too I nice, Angela. I, I had somebody block, I and I didn't them. forget I'm that block. I blocked them, but I started hitting them up, cursing them out, the, and it was blocked. Saying. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, did he get that? <laughs> <laughs> Let me unblock it until it says delivered. Okay. And it said delivered again. already. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe it did go through. Like, that's the only time. I didn't forget, though. I knew he was blocked. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes like both of us are too stubborn. And you're like, I know he want to talk to me. And I definitely want to talk to him. But I'm not going to do it. Mm-hmm. And then it could just end. <laughs> yeah. Done that. Ego. Have you ever been like the person to make the first move after that? When, you know, things... Like y'all get into an argument, will you call and say sorry? Hmm. Sorry, damn y'all. I, for me, that'll really throw a guy off. Oh if no, you do for that. me, I was in a I was in a relationship on and off with somebody who likes to pick arguments with me. So I, I'm always apologizing for things that I didn't even do just because I don't want to argue. Mm. It's like, oh, sorry, uh, you're mad. I'm sorry that you're mad. I don't know why you're mad, but okay, sorry. That's like a terrible apology. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, I'm just, I'm, I, I'm definitely, I have definitely been the person even sorry after a breakup. Right. Even sorry after, that you're mad. I don't know why, but sorry. <laughs> but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've definitely been the person after the, you know, after the fight to come back and be like, mm-hmm. babe, can we just talk about it? I've definitely been, but they have too. I feel like when you're in a long term relationship, when you're when you're messing with somebody for so long, you take turns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah, you take turns. Yeah, no, you take turns coming back. Like sometimes oh, it's your turn to apologize. Yeah, now. like sometimes you gotta be the bigger person, and sometimes you need them. If you I'm really want to throw a guy off, I'm you learning. apologize first. Yeah, hmm. that'll really throw him off. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Well, then like, maybe wow, I'm a master never thrower offer because I'm quick to apologize. <laughs> really? Yes. Let me tell you something, and it's really like not that big a deal. We make it so much more of a mm. big deal than it has to be. Hmm. Like to call somebody and be like, you know what? I do want to apologize. Guys will go crazy over that. I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. And then he'll think you're Mm -hmm. amazing. He'll be like, wow, I can't. No one's ever apologized. I don't know. I always always (laughs) apologize for how you were affected by it. Like that wasn't my intentions. Right. 
Yeah. And then he better apologize for his part too. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's really the whole point. To to? I'm really apologizing so, so that you can you apologize, apologize back to me. <laughs> oh, my funniest apology part. is, you know, you're you're really trash. And if that's disrespectful, I apologize because I don't want to be disrespectful, but it's the truth. That's not an apology. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I'm like, wait, what? Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. How do you start an apology but you're trash? Like you're you're fucking trash, but you know, I don't I'm not a disrespectful person. And so if you find that disrespectful, I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Yeah, I mean, wow. do you write better music I've when you're? I've um, said that before. Do you write better music when you're in a relationship or when you're single? You think? Look, if I've ever been single, it's probably just for like a week. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're a serial relationship uh, person. Yo, 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 yeah, I've always been in a relationship. Um, um, even if it's for a short time or a long time, whatever it is, I've always been in a relationship. Um, I think for me, the good part is that I'm in in my mind, because I have a very visual mind. In my mind, I, I could take a happy moment and flip it, make it sad. Mm -hmm. Because that's what music allows me to do, mm -hmm. just really mess around with the, the truth and, and the fiction. Mm -hmm. You know, so I could take a very happy moment and flip it. And I could just look at someone who's having really the best time of their life or the worst time of their life and making my story. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, so I just, it doesn't matter if I'm single or um, I'm in a relationship. But I do find that when it particularly affects me directly, I have such a connection to what I'm saying, you know, and, and, and no truer words would be sung mm -hmm. than what you hear on that yeah. song. Yeah. Like, what's an example, would you say, of a song that is super personal to you when you was going through something? Besides Johnny. Yeah, besides Johnny. Is that <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I try to personalize a lot of moments. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Something me that see. even when you sing it, you are like really reminiscing on something that happened and channeling that. Huh. Which song will this be now? Let me see. Um, there's this new song that I'm about to put out there. Um, and it's the one that features Cranium. My man. And, yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause I keep seeing the hashtag mm -hmm. and I'm like, mm -hmm. wait a minute. But then mm -hmm. Cranium's been on lip service, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. And told Ooh, some very yeah. crazy oh, stories. That would have yeah. been amazing. He yeah. Yeah. He's Cranium's been, been here. on here. Ooh, he if he speaks, he speaks his truth. Yes, he does. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> oh, and that's what he did, right? Yes. Oh, and he has stories for days. Yes, he does. Ooh. He's amazing. Yeah, we we like he was great. Yeah. Very uh, so what's my man about? It's a love story. Give us a little more because you know it's gonna be <laughs> out. It's like it's a love story. <laughs> okay, so contrary to what she said, let me tell you about my man. Oh six packs, no biddy thing will make me fall for him. Oh. Like I didn't feel guy. like a queen whenever I did by inside. Oh. <laughs> yes. yes i'm gonna love this song. you know because she said six packs but yes. this time around i said mm, six packs isn't the thing uh, yeah you know but like it's kind of there but yes. it's not really the thing but yeah that's it i love it oh yeah but it's there it's not there but it's there what does size matter to you Size of what, honey? The penis, honey. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> size of that yammy yammy. Come on, what yeah, yeah, could I be talking baby. about? Not his size. Ass. The size of his <laughs> pinky toe. The size of his that Pets. dick. <laughs> oh, well, hello. Whatever part of the body oh, start with P. Please do a lot of play in Nigeria. Push please. The size of that push and P. <laughs> does the size oh, of the push and P matter? Oh, is it a capital P or a lowercase P? But does it should be. Do you feel like you've ever been like, back? you know, whipped? Like, I can't leave because it's so amazing. Huh. I mean, it always has to be amazing, man. I'm, I'm from the first. No, it always has to be amazing. Always. <laughs> Oh, look, I'm, I'm so busy that if and when it happens, it must be mind blowing. I do not have time to play around. It must be the thing, you know? Yeah. So um, does size, size matter? You're not answering. Definitely. No, it does. It, it, it matters. Because I've been, I've been with a few people that uh, had a very small pocket. <laughs> Mm. Mm -hmm. Were they from the United States? Of, of other words, <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking about the, money. <laughs> were they from the United States? No. Oh. Okay. 
No. <laughs> um, and and then when that happened, you know, you have to experience certain things to know what you don't like. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, I realized that, oh, this does not work for me. Like, it's such a turn off. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I need to get yeah, out of something here. else. Yeah, so size is a thing. And then skill, because some people mm -hmm. have it, but don't know how to use it. Right. And that right. is very sad. That's worse than not having it. Oh, Ooh, my God, yes. That is sad. It's so sad. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like if, if, if I put myself in that situation again, if I could have a conversation with that person... <laughs> That's I'm not sure they would find it funny. I'm what would you? What could you say? Like, I, right? Like, what can you say? What What's the conversation? All right, let's let's act it out. Yummy. What's the problem? All right. Okay. Um. I I really. <laughs> Are you laughing at my dick? No, honey, no. <laughs> Angela, you're that a wonderful actress. Really actor. quick. The end. Oh, okay. No, the end. I'm going out. <laughs> but I'm saying, you said, let's have a conversation. So, <sighs> like, I don't feel like you're into me. Oh, no. I, I am. I really, really do like you. Um, And I like the time we spend together. Um, but wh what do you think? Should we make it more interesting? How? Um, I don't know. I feel like you... We could do other things other than you just always being on me. Like try other other you know interesting positions okay like what positions do you like he's going to be like ah you're an ashawo <laughs> you're a prostitute <laughs> 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 wow <laughs> really mm -hmm. so this is what you have been doing with other guys <laughs> <laughs> so you don't, i don't understand you're telling so you're telling me that i don't know how to <laughs> He's gonna blame it on you. It, mm -hmm. Look, he gonna flip look gonna the flip ego it. will just. It's gonna be your fault. Yeah, so that's so, sometimes yes, you just gotta get on top happened. and take charge, though. You think America? So uh, you think mm. men, internet, like American men, would take? Uh, maybe I mean, because America. Are you what are you saying, to? Laura? What? Okay, I'm trying to understand. <laughs> if an American man will react that will way. Will react that way as well. Have what you I, what I think is What I think is, um, irrespective of wherever a man is, whether he's American, Spanish, or, or whatever, it's all in the head. Mm -hmm. uh, some people don't know how to put their ego that. aside Take and criticism. have certain conversations. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm very sure that there are some American guys that will not find that conversation funny, no matter how nicely <laughs> right. I put it. They probably would just really make sure that I feel like trash, <laughs> and then this, and then the relationship ends. Then they take their time out to um, maybe improve on their skill for another woman. Oh, because I'm gonna I, help him out. I probably next like yeah. really mess with their ego at that point yeah, in time. It sure. takes a man who's willing to really understand that it's not it's not a game it's like it's all about pleasure and like if you feel like you're not pleasuring me and i'm, and I'm able to tell you and you really make it your goal to just pleasure me and pleasure yourself because if you're if i don't enjoy myself you can't enjoy it right there's a right. different feeling when we're both enjoying it absolutely you know? so it takes a a man with pedigree to separate the ego from right. such a conversation yeah. have you ever faked an orgasm <laughs> for sure that was a yes <laughs> wait what does it mean to fake an orgasm like, when you really didn't come but you're like, pretending you like did that? that's yeah. a lot of acting or I even never just do lie that. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, did you come and did you're you like come yeah. And you say, yeah but you really didn't oh <laughs> that's still faking it <laughs> she don't want to admit it <laughs> yeah I'm not faking maybe it maybe once or twice <laughs> yeah, once or twice it. or ten times I don't know what was the reason for that I don't know. Maybe sometimes you, you just want, want your nice. partner to really feel um, mm -mm. great. I, like feel like um, I didn't word. feel great. You ain't feeling great. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I did not. Uh, no, no, it's good. But maybe, the, maybe, maybe your partner came before you, and I still didn't come at all. He should and if you ask, yeah, if he I should came, be I'm able to. Tell I had you. a good time, but I just didn't get there. Yeah, right, yeah, and that's I've okay. Had, I've had sex, and yeah. you, I didn't come, and, and it was still okay. great. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So like, that's okay. Well, I guess. I'm not gonna lie about it. You too nice and polite. How many times do you, you let too that damn polite. <laughs> what do you mean? Before you say something, um, I probably will just <laughs> make my own self come, and then that's just exactly. It. I'm not. That. I haven't faked the orgasm in years. Yeah, I'm not I'll doing just, it. Okay, okay. I, it would, like you said, I had a good time. I just didn't come this time. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, it's you how do you make I yourself mean? come I when you just had know. sex? How do you do that? 
Your fingers, just like you just showed us. Yeah, like- I do it in front of them so they could feel bad about it. <laughs> Same, I do. I've done it. I pulled out a toy on purpose. I didn't like, pull out And that's why I say how I, many times, because I let it happen like the first, second, third. Uh, and then the fourth, like I felt I didn't want to hurt his feelings. So I was like, I'm not gonna hurt it verb, but I'm gonna I'm gonna come and I've given and I pulled out the toy. Ooh. Do you use toys? One time, I didn't really enjoy it. What's happening? Well, look, we want to make sure you have fun. Okay. Okay, so we do okay. have a fetish kit for you. <laughs> so this has blindfolds, a collar, and a leash. For him to put on him, wrist wow. cuffs, ankle cuffs, and a little spanking paddle. There you go. I have just been turn you upgraded. A, <laughs> turn you to a when he's not doing the right thing, you pull this out. You pull that paddle out, okay? and you take control. Have a little fun, yummy. Thank you. So you know, we just want you to. Hey, I have to hide this from my mother. <laughs> 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 Listen, this will be a great time for you and your mom to have these conversations. Ooh, uh, no, she's going to pray for me. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nice. Please. <laughs> you can take it out of the box and um, just, you know, okay. wrap it up in All something right. later. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you don't have the whole box. Your mom's not here, is she? No, she's okay. not. I thought okay. You were no, she's not. <laughs> but she is so online. Mm-hmm. She knows everything, so uh, I'm not going to be able to dodge this one. Well, shout out to her. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Shout out We're to not sure that Yemi's going to use grown, it. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you going to use it? You Look, she's taking it out. She's like, opening it. Will. She's like, I, I should. Like, I want to. Yeah. Have you ever been blindfolded? No, but I, I, I imagine that that would be nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah you because, have your own blindfold. You know, you I don't have, have a blindfold. A leash. Mm-hmm. It's the leash. I don't understand. But I have a friend. I have a friend. <laughs> I have a friend, and all she does is send me two things. She sends me pictures and videos of babies because she loves babies, <laughs> and then she sends me pictures and videos of things like this. Okay. She she, she sends me. She's um, diverse. She's like, I want. I need to be strapped now. <laughs> she, she's oh, she's so silly. Yeah. You gonna be jealous of your best She kid. will be. Yeah. She will be so some. jealous. Do you Thank have a special you someone this. now? Of course I do. Okay. Oh, well, she okay. said she ain't never single. You heard that? He's going to enjoy it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at your finger like, is there a ring? But I don't see a oh, ring. So no ring right now. Right now. But yeah. you think he's the one? Oh, yeah. Oh, you think that every time? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no, no. no. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> Don't be like that. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I used to always be like that. Yes, true. Uh, everybody's the everyone one. Was the yeah, one. everyone was the one. But yeah, the, he's the one. He's different. Mm-hmm. Nice. Why is that? In a grown way. Mm-hmm. When I was a kid mm-hmm. then. You know? I feel that. Kid mentally as well. It doesn't matter how old I am. Mm-hmm. But he is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we love to hear it. Mm-hmm. Tie him up. Let's see if it's real. Okay. <laughs> Use them handcuffs and, and that blindfold at the same time, girl. <laughs> <laughs> she ready. Well, mm-hmm. listen, we thank you so much for coming through. Happy birthday. Yes, thank happy you. Birthday. Yes, that's right. Happy birthday. By the way, this is really season. special for us, though, because I know it's not too often that you're, you know, in town. So mm-hmm. we appreciate you coming through lip service. Thank you so much. We thank think you. you're amazing. I appreciate it. I appreciate um Even though, like, one would expect that... In Africa, we don't always have these conversations mm-hmm. because... Uh, I wouldn't say it's a taboo, but like you would be seen as a as a as an unnecessarily open minded person to the things that they would refer to as negatives, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I I value such conversations because I think women need to speak to each other more. Yeah, Absolutely. that's the whole point that's of it. Whole, and yeah. I do think part that's of women's empowerment it. is to be able to freely speak about. Our bodies, things that we like in a positive way with no especially judgment. The bodies, like, especially the bodies, especially our bodies. How you think we got here? Like, Somebody was fucking. Like we need. <laughs> young. And you FYI, know, guys have these conversations young. and it's a okay. Mm. Yeah. So yes, we are able to have these conversations mm. too, and they'll have these conversations about us, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. so we can have these conversations with yeah. each other. Mm-hmm. And this helps a lot of women, and that's what I love about lip service is women will be like, "I was listening and I learned this, and I didn't know mm-hmm. about this, and I felt strange because I never was able to have anyone to talk to." Mm. So we just want to be able to let people know it's, it's okay. okay. Yeah. There's nothing that you like that's weird as 
long as it's consensual, mm-hmm. and, you know, and, and legal. legal. Yeah, and legal. <laughs> and le- yeah, <laughs> and legal. And I like that you guys, even though it's 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 centered around sex, like, but you still talk about anything feminine, mm-hmm. you know, uh, that concerns the, that regards mm-hmm. the body and their every each woman is different in her own way Mm -hmm. but there's still women out there who are exactly like we are and Mm -hmm. and most times we need to just be told that we're not alone and that Mm -hmm. whatever condition or situation that we experience someone out there is experiencing the the same same thing thing. you could just be the solution to someone's problem Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. out there and don't get me wrong even though you know i keep saying in africa we don't say certain things a lot of women are now beginning to understand the importance of speaking out so a lot of women are vocal and open to such conversations and we'll be very excited to watch this eventually yeah that's that's important to us i appreciate that because even Mm -hmm. us discussing how like we didn't have these conversations with our own moms Mm -hmm. then who are you having them with yes you know what i'm saying so that's why this friends this means a lot that's what i'm saying like even like i'm pretty sure that as a girl i would be ashamed normally to speak about things like this and Mm -hmm. it would be uh, uncomfortable but being here and just being comfortable with everyone else and just knowing that oh you 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 had that. Like, oh, you, oh, you had yourself too. Yeah. 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 You yeah. Yeah. yourself. Okay. Oh, you had those same issues too. Mm-hmm. You, you had toilet paper before. before. You had toilet paper stuck in your crack. Like it's, it is amazing, Shit. and the messages you get were like, wow. I went through that too. Mm-hmm. Or like the DMs, it is great. So mm-hmm. it is. And it don't take away from how powerful you are of and course. what a great role model you are yes. for everybody. Mm-hmm. But young yep. women, I think in particular. Yes, mm-hmm. for sure. mm-hmm. So it does Thank not you. take away from that. It adds to it. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah. you for having me. Thank you for having me on. It's amazing. We thank you Thank for you, lip service. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you. <laughs> lip service. Mm-hmm.